Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a current makeup trend video wherein I'll be creating this super sultry and sexy foxy eyes makeup look. So if you want to know how I got this super sultry foxy eye makeup look with the rest of the makeup then please do keep on watching. And also I have used all affordable products to create this makeup look. So first of all I'm gonna pick up the Nykaa Prep Me Up Primer. So I'm just gonna dot it on the main areas of my face and blend it out using my fingertips. Then I'm gonna move straight to the foundation. I'm taking the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation in the shade Mahogany. I'm gonna dot it on my entire face using a small concealer brush like so. And then I'm gonna uh, blend it out using a pack buffing brush. So this foundation is slightly um, darker for my skin tone. It's about half a shade darker. So, and it also has full coverage, so it manages to cover all of my imperfections. So I didn't have to use any uh, concealer or color corrector for today's look. Then I'm gonna take the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Caramel, which is a couple of shades lighter than my skin tone to conceal and highlight my face. So I'm just applying that underneath my eyes, on top of the eyelids, on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead on my cupid's bow and chin and then I'm gonna gently blend it out using a concealer blending brush. This concealer also has very good um, coverage. Then to set everything, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Medium Deep and I'm taking that on a damp beauty blender to bake and set my uh, base makeup. So I'm just applying a generous amount of it underneath my eyes. I'm setting the top of the eyelids um, on the center of my forehead, the bridge of my nose and also packing a lot of it on my smile lines, my chin and Cupid's bow. So these are the areas where I crease and oil up, so I'm packing a lot of this powder on all these places. Now to fill in my eyebrows, I have taken the Miss Claire Eyebrow Pencil um, with a spoolie on the other end and this is in the shade Dark Brown. So I'm just going to gently fill in my eyebrows using this pencil. Then I took the Nykaa Just Wink It eyeshadow palette in the variant Sweet Sunday. So I'm first picking up that medium uh, neutral brown shade on a tapered blending brush and I'm just gonna feather that eyeshadow on top of the um, eyelids closer to my lash line like so and kind of pull it and drag it towards the tail of my eyebrows in like a winged shape. And I'm really uh, focusing on the blending also here because we don't want any harsh lines. Then I'm taking this really deep chocolatey brown shade which is also a matte shade and I have taken that on a pencil brush and I'm going even more closer to the lash line and just applying the dark brown shade and also winging it out like the previous brown shade. This is what that makes the foxy eye look really come together. You have to create a beautiful smoky uh, base before you do your eyeliner. Now for eyeliner, I'm taking the L'Oreal Flash Cat Eyeliner which is a felt tip eyeliner and it comes with this uh, winged eyeliner stencil. So I'm placing the stencil at an angle and uh, I'm just tracing the um, tail of the wing and then I'm going to take my time and gently and slowly create a winged eyeliner.
and I'm also focusing on the inner uh, portions of the eye because we want to create that feline uh, sort of a shape at the inner corners of the eye so there should be no flesh peeking through through your eyeliner and then I dusted off all of the excess powder and set the remainder areas of the face using the same Maybelline Fit Me loose powder. Then I'm gonna uh, go ahead with the eyeliner again and I'm creating that inner corner wing and uh, also I'm taking my own sweet time in doing that because this is a very crucial part in uh, creating the foxy eyes so I'm gently just uh, connecting the top and the bottom um, water lines gently creating a small inner corner wing and then I also connected that outer corner wing to the lower lash line slightly just at the corners then I took the uh, dark brown shade from the Nykaa palette again on an angled brush and softly smudged that on top of the winged eyeliner to create that really diffused look. Then I took the uh, brush that I used to apply the foundation which had the leftover foundation to clean up under the tail of the wing to make it look more sharper. For mascara, I'm taking the Flower Beauty Lash Warrior Mascara and applying a generous layer of this mascara to my top and bottom eyelashes. Then I applied these individual falsies from Ardell to uh, both my eyes. I applied about five to six of them on each of my eye and I didn't want to go too overboard with the eyelashes for this look that hence why I uh, applied these individuals. Then for bronzer I'm taking the NYX matte bronzer in the shade dark tan and I'm just gonna apply that bronzer on the perimeters of my face to add a bit of warmth and to chisel out my cheekbones also. Then using a smaller blending brush, I'm gonna define the sides of my nose and my lower lip area. For blusher, I'm gonna take this really beautiful blusher for dusky skin tones. This is from Sugar and the shade is called Mauve Marvel which is like a beautiful deep mauve brown sort of a blush shade and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks to add a flush of colour to this whole makeup look because this is really on the earthy side so this blush just pulls everything together. For highlighter, I'm taking the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold and I'm just gonna apply that to the tops of my cheekbones, on the cupid's bow, on my chin, on the bridge of my nose. Coming to the lips, I'm taking the K Beauty Matte Action Lip Liner in the shade Fame which is like a a uh, deep neutral brown sort of a shade so I'm gently going above the lip line to create a plumped effect on my lips and also this is gonna be the lip color for today's look so I'm just gonna fill in my entire lips using this lip liner. Then I wanted to add a bit of glossiness, then I took this uh, Wet n Wild lip gloss in a clear uh, variant. So I'm just going to pop that on my entire lips to create a bit of glossiness and juiciness to the lips. Last but not the least, I'm gonna set everything in place using the Faces Ultime Pro Makeup Setting Spray. So I'm just gonna spritz that and set and fix my makeup in place. So here is the final foxy eyes makeup look which looks really really sultry and sexy and yeah this is how beautiful it looks but it takes the right technique to achieve it. So I really hope that this video was helpful and you got something to learn and all the products used in this video will be listed in the description box so make sure to check it out 
and uh, yeah this is it for today's video make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up comment and subscribe to my channel all my social media links will be given in the description box as well and yeah this is it and i shall see you guys soon in my next video bye